First, uh, let me start with a few words about, uh, about us as a company. So, um, both Petty Power and Betfair are part of uh, Flutter Entertainment Group. And the group holds uh, other bookmaking companies as well. Uh, with Petty Power operating in the UK and Ireland, Betfair with operations worldwide, um, FanDuel with uh, operations in the US market, and um, Sportsbet operating um, in Australia. So we are a global uh, sports betting, gaming and entertainment provider. And to give you uh, an idea about the size of our operations, here are some figures for, from last year. So uh, we have more than 6 million customers across uh, the two brands, Petty Power and Betfair. And we trade in excess of 80 billion pounds across, uh, across our platforms. And um, we have around 3 billion transactions happening, uh, happening across, uh, across our systems. And all this traffic has very irregular patterns. Uh, we see um, huge uh, betting surges happening around uh, uh, special festivals such as um, well, Melbourne Cup for horse racing or the entry festival in the UK, which has the, the, the Grand National um, horse race. Our journey spans a few years um, and uh, we started building from scratch a system that uh, could deliver promotions to, to our customers and uh, we've turning it into uh, a, a world-class system that actually uh, powers now uh, both of our brands, Petty Power and Betfair and uh, we are in the process of uh, extending this to, to, cover, to, cover other, to cover other brands in the group as well. I'll uh, show you how uh, some of the features that have enabled us to, to gain quick adoption of this platform and to turn it into an excellent proposition for our customers and also keep our operational teams, uh, teams happy. And then I'll uh, hand over to Alex to actually give you some, uh, some uh, details about the challenges that we, have, we had operating into, uh, into multiple data centers and uh, being able to, to handle this kind of uh, loads during, uh, during very busy periods. So before we've built the system, uh, running a promotion on our, on our sites uh, was a lot of manual work. An operator would have to uh, create the actual content, but then worry about uh, putting the banner in front of our customers, um, enabling the banner at, at, precise, uh, at precise time, also um, Having, having to worry about segmentation, so which customers actually see that banner. Then you as a customer would interact with, with the offer, say you would, uh, you would opt in, so you would want to join a certain promotion, but you would have no feedback. Uh, you wouldn't know, uh, have you done, have you done uh, what we required or the, the conditions, did you fulfill the condition of the promotion? Because uh, the system wouldn't, wouldn't tell you. Uh, the operator would, uh, would have to run some scripts on the data warehouse to pick up anybody that, uh, that actually completed the, the promotions and eventually release the reward to, to the customers that, uh, that fulfill the criteria. So this whole system had some obvious limitation. Um, it, it was very hard to, to operate because um, it relied on the operator fulfilling all these all these tasks. So uh, generating the content of a promotion, uh, then gathering these uh, lists of uh, customers, and eventually uh, releasing the rewards. Also, for for our clients, it was a very poor experience because uh, you would have to to wait for us to fulfill the flow between you uh, expressing interest and actually doing what we requested and you're getting the reward, it, it, it was a, a man in the middle to actually wait for to, to, f to finish, the, um, to, to award you the reward. And then for us as a business, it, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't scalable. So we couldn't actually expand into new jurisdictions or we couldn't um, broaden our, our, our range of offers because all this was, was man-powered. So it was very expensive to, uh, to, to scale. So we were tasked with building something very different and the new proposition had to deliver uh, on, on the following expectations. You'd have to be real-time. 
So whenever you've actually uh, done your part of, of, of a promotion, you would have to get instant feedback. So whether uh, uh, we requested you to do um, a deposit, you would have to know immediately that, yes, we've taken that deposit and uh, now you can progress with the promotion. If you've placed a bet, again, you would have to know instantly that the bet was counted uh, as, as progress in the promotion. It would also uh, have to be personalized. So you, should, uh, you shouldn't see offers uh, only, only to find out uh, when you click on them that they are actually not available for you because this creates frustration and it's actually a very poor experience for, for you as a, as a client. Also, um, our, our system should assist the user and by assisting the user, it should tell the user exactly what's next or where the user is at in the promotion. So if we requested, for example, uh, for you to, to bet 10 in order to get a free bet, you should know that you're halfway through uh, that process if, 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 that's, if that's the case. And also it should integrate um, most or all of our products and, and systems. So we have sports and gaming as, as products. We have payments and registration and funds as, as internal systems. So uh, the user could actually inter uh, interact with any of, of the systems and uh, be able to, to have feedback on, on uh, what, what the progress is. So uh, as, a, as a side effect, what happened and what we've seen uh, happening is um, the work has shifted. So our, our operational teams uh, were relieved from, from this uh, non-creative task of delivering the content, putting the content on and off in front of the users, manipulating the list of users. So they were free to actually um, focus on, on what they do best. And what they do best is actually create content for, for our customers. Also, since we've uh, since we've automated this uh, this delivery, the whole the whole experience is um, is uh, self-explaining for you as a customer. You don't need to you know phone help desk to find out what's happening, and um, it's, uh, it it allows us to 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 run many many promotions uh, at at once. And also, um, it's scalable. So we've uh, we've achieved this uh, this goal because uh, we are now um, deploying deploying this platform into into other into other areas of our or into other brands of our uh, of our group. Here are some some figures from uh, from our uh, from our platform. So uh, so far, uh, we've seen uh, something like forty thousand promotions being uh, being created and operated to to the platform, and on a weekly basis we see uh, this kind of uh, this kind of activity flowing flowing through our uh, through our platform so a key decision um, that has enabled us to move very quickly while building this platform was the choice of storage so we needed something very um, flexible to actually support uh, the incredible variation of criteria that make up uh, our promotions so we've We've chose a, a NoSQL store, a NoSQL solution, and uh, that was Couchbase, and we're still very happy about um, about our about our choice. And I'll carry on showing you some examples of how uh, how we've modeled the criteria. So um, a very simple promotion would look like this: you you register, and uh, we give you a free bet. So um, your part is what we call qualifications, and our part is what we call rewards. So uh, a single qualification and a single reward can be combined into, uh, into only one, uh, one possible promotion. Now, now let's say um, we develop two more qualifications, one for deposit and one for bet. So the deposit one uh, would track that you are, uh, you are making a deposit and bet would track that you are actually making a bet on, on our platform. So by mixing these qualifications and reward, uh, we can now create about seven possible combinations and the lines are actually uh, um, describe the possible way of, of, of mixing the qualifications and rewards. So I can create a promotion with either one, two or three qualification steps. But where it gets really interesting is say I develop two more rewards such as free spins which would, allow, which would um, allow you to, uh, to do free spins on our games or cash where I could just award you some, uh, some cash into uh, your, your main wallet. 
So all of a sudden, uh, I am now able to um, mix these uh, um, these pieces together into 49 possible uh, combinations, so 49 possible ways of creating promotions. Uh, so you could think of this as um, similar to uh, like Lego bricks, where uh, you have a bucket uh, full of uh, full of bricks, and every time you play, you you can create something uh, something different. So here is how uh, that promotion would look like um, on our site, and this is what a customer would see. So you'd see uh, here we request you to opt in, um, deposit, bet and uh, get your bonus and in case you're wondering what that number four is um, uh, for those of you who are not f uh, football fans i can tell you um, it's just um, salah is a is a is a football player for liverpool and doing a bicycle kick is just uh, kicking the, the ball in a spectacular in a spectacular way but you don't need you don't need to worry too much um, too much about about that so here is how that th this criteria actually look like uh, this would be the registration where it, it applies to certain uh, uh, registration codes. This would be the deposit uh, where uh, we support or we allow you to deposit two uh, deposit methods. This would be the bet, and this would be uh, whatever can be uh, can have a, a binary result. So it can have it can happen or not in the, in in the real world. So having this uh, uh, this criteria now, the question is, what's the relationship between them? Um, the joint deposit and bet they all must happen. Um, they, they they all must happen, but the deposit can be made with uh, one of the two uh, deposit methods, either PayPal or Visa. So how how can we express this uh, in 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 our model? And the answer to this is uh, an and or tree. So an and, an and or tree uh, is made up of nodes, which can be either and or or, obviously. Now an and node is true if all of its children are true, and an or node is true if uh, one, of, uh, one of its children is true. So this, um, uh, this diagram or this schema can be read as you need to register and you need to deposit using either Visa or PayPal, and you need to bet and something else must happen, such as that uh, that uh, football uh, that football kick. <laughs> so this is how um, we've been able to 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 to, mo to model this um, this uh, varied world of, of of promotions because each of this um, piece or each of these criteria is very simple actually in, in terms of implementation, but putting it putting it uh, putting them all together allows us us to create a very um, elaborate um, uh, proposition or, or a very uh, elaborate system made out of uh, out of very simple uh, individual pieces. So I'm handing over now to Alex to uh, actually talk uh, walk you through our our challenges of uh, deploying this into uh, several data centers and uh, handling these uh, spikes of activity. Okay. Thank you, Raj. Um, so. The next topic from our journey is called cross data center availability. And uh, here we'll discuss about how we deal with potential data center outages without affecting customer activity with minimal impact on customers. One of the most important requirements driving the choice of uh, database clustering solution is the need for high availability and uh, greater level of uh, <coughs> greater level of high availability. And uh, uh, Internet services today, um, uh, internet services today uh, would, uh, could have scheduled maintenance breaks. However, uh, most uh, today, if uh, your service is targeting uh, is, is targeting global audience and uh, revenue bearing transactions happen every second, uh, downtime is simply not acceptable. Therefore, any downtime, whether planned or unplanned, can have a cost that can be measured either in uh, lost revenue or uh, bad publicity in social media. Uh, why Couchbase? Um, so Couchbase is a, a document-driven uh, NoSQL uh, database with built-in support for the following key features. It is uh, distributed. 
although it looks like a single uh, database, the data is replicated uh, inside the cluster between the nodes. Uh, it, it is scalable, so um, capacity can be easily added or removed from a live cluster with no uh, downtime on the application. It is fast. Uh, Couchbase uh, delivers uh, predictable low latency uh, access for uh, random reads and writes. And uh, last but not least, it is easy. Developing with uh, Couchbase is easy. There are uh, many professional uh, SDKs and libraries available in uh, popular languages. Uh, besides Couchbase as our DB database, database of choice, we are heavily relying on uh, Kafka as our streaming solution. Um, and uh, we are based, uh, our pl platform uh, stack is mostly JVM based, and uh, we are using, uh, deploy app our application in, uh, on premise in a private cloud. Okay, organizational changes. Uh, there are times when organizations are go going through various change. In our case, it was a merge between a Bedford company and a Petty Power. This change led to some uh, uh, challenging new requirements, like the ability to support both brands. And another interesting requirement was addition of a new data center, private data center. So now we have to support both data centers. Given there are two data centers, uh, we have uh, some particular requirements, like uh, ability to serve the traffic in both data centers. Uh, this is also known as active-active mode. And uh, the second requirement was the ability to go offline anytime in any of those data centers and without affecting the, the business. Supporting these requirements was uh, possible uh, thanks to a feature available in Couchbase called Cross Data Center Replication. Uh, this uh, feature is um, impressive. We witnessed uh, a throughput of over 100,000 transactions per second uh, while replicating large data sets. However, there, there is one caveat. Given we serve the traffic in both data centers simultaneously, what happens when the same change is applied in both data centers simultaneously? How can we ensure consistency? Our solution for this problem was to develop a wrapper library on top of the Couchbase client, which would act as a proxy between the application and the, and the Couchbase cluster. The idea behind the proxy is simple. The proxy is configured to be aware about the both data centers, and uh, basically it knows about the topology. Uh, at any given time, the traffic is routed to, any, uh, to a single data center, thus ensuring that all the writes happens only in one data center. This helps to ensure that consistency. Also, while the traffic is flowing uh, uh, to a single data center, the cross data center replication ensures that the data is replicated across both data centers. The primary cluster can be easily changed any time, and the, the client through the proxy is aware about the change and the, um, change, change the traffic to the, to the newly elected primary uh, data center. Also, another feature we developed on top of this library is ability to run in read-only mode, so all rewrites are rejected. This, use, this feature is useful for certain situations. Uh, okay. So, this feature allowed us to deal with such use cases when uh, one data center is uh, scheduled for maintenance or uh, there is unplanned downtime. We can easily switch traffic from one data center uh, to another. Uh, we, for instance, uh, managed to upgrade entire cluster without affecting uh, database, uh, without affecting uh, uh, customer activity at all. Okay, uh, next topic is called um, scalable workload distribution. It's the purpose of this, uh, um, uh, here we'll find how we answer the frequently asked questions of, of uh, our customer have, like, where is my bed? So uh, I will start by describing a sample promotion we host on our platform. This promotion is uh, particularly uh, popular during uh, horse racing festivals like Cheltenham or Grand National. Um, 
uh, and uh, this particular promotion states that you will get your money back as a free bet if your horse finishes second. Um, imagine you, you, you are part of this promotion, you place the bet and watching the, the horse racing and everything goes okay, the horse, uh, the horse finish the, uh, the uh, crosses the line, it isn't uh, the winner, but still you're happy because your horse finished second and you are entitled for a free bet. Of course, uh, you have, your expectancy is to get the free bet as soon as the horse finishes the race so that you uh, could use it for the next race, which starts shortly. The same expectation has other thousands of, of customers. And uh, we, have, uh, we are dealing with a, um, with a challenging problem. How to, uh, how, how to, uh, to provide free bets to all the customers who, are, are, are who, who want this promotion. In other words, uh, how to eat an elephant. Of course, uh, this, is, uh, this way of eating an elephant is not the best way to eat. You could watch the Animal Planet show just to see how long it takes. Uh, <coughs> in following slides, you'll find out how, how we um, designed a distributed, uh, scalable and fault-tolerant uh, job scheduler, which helped us to deal with such use case. Uh, a little bit before diving into details, I would like to provide some overview of our platform. Uh, in the nutshell, uh, the platform is uh, ingesting various streams of data from Kafka. Uh, and uh, uh, there are various types of streams like uh, betting activity, um, uh, payments, deposits, and so on. And uh, every message is processed either immediately or uh, can potentially have an immediate side effect or in some cases, we delay the execution by scheduling it to be executed in the future. Uh, no. When uh, every job uh, scheduled uh, is persisted in uh, storage, and it uh, is called job, that's why how we call it, and the job uh, contains the details about what exactly should be executed and when. Uh, given there are unpredictable number of events, at any given time, uh, the number of scheduled jobs can vary a lot. So um, the system uh, can have this kind of problem of how to eat an elephant prob uh, uh, from time to time. The solution for our problem was, um, first of all, if you have a single application node, you fetch the uh, batch of jobs you have to execute and, and uh, um, execute them in concurrently. The concurrency level can be configured on the application node level. However, even if you have uh, um, uh, a lot, uh, c the concurrency level is high, you still can have, uh, can deal with an elephant which is too big for a single node to eat. Um, so to achieve a high throughput uh, and benefit from the entire cluster, you have to use the entire processing power from, from the, your application cluster. But the problem you have in this case is how to ensure that all the nodes competing for job execution are not executing the same jobs. How, how to avoid contention. And uh, the, the solution for this uh, problem was to, to sh shard the elephant into smaller pieces in equally sized shards and each node would uh, request a random shard from the index. Thus, the number of, of the contention is uh, inversely proportional to the number of shards we have in the index. This way, we achieved the following, uh, our solution achieved the following key features. First of all, it is scalable because this, the throughput can be controlled easily either by, by increasing the concurrency level on the node level or by adding application nodes to the cluster. Uh, another feature of this solution was atomicity. So we can guarantee that any job is executed only by a single node due to a transaction uh, feature available on the document level from Couchbase. And uh, last but not least is the fault tolerance. 
even if the execution fails at some point by any node, there is no, uh, we won't lose uh, uh, the processing because the job is persisted and we can retry it to execute it later. So what are the highlights of our journey? Uh, our platform allowed us to support endless variations of promotions uh, by harnessing the um, schema-less documents uh, in no, Couchbase and NoSQL database. Uh, the system is built in such a way that complexity curve flattens even though the number of features increases. Uh, we've been able to accommodate multiple data centers uh, and routing traffic between them, thus guaranteeing the, the, the ensuring consistency and availability at the same time. And the uh, last one is uh, we've uh, kept the processing real time, even during massive spikes during uh, popular sport events. Uh, where to next? Of course, our journey doesn't end here. Uh, we are still working on onboarding other brands from the company uh, into this platform. Also, we, um, we um, onboard other products as well, uh, so that any product available uh, in, in uh, the company could be used or uh, could, could benefit from a from, from, uh, uh, promotion perspective. And uh, of course, uh, why not uh, AI-powered segmentation? So uh, use specialized uh, segmentation using AI to, to uh, personalize better customers and uh, to uh, create, why not to create a promotion uh, uh, based on the customer activity? Uh, well, this concludes our presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, you can meet us at the Couchbase stand or find us on Twitter. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.